So now, the last video I made was changing the wallpapers and the icons and the themes and all that. I thought I'd tackle this one right now, so the way bar up there. And the resolution is not super, right? But it's a, at least something to explain you guys how Hyperland works. Super 2. This is Ctrl Alt Enter, Super Shift Enter, Super X, Logout, Super D, the menu, Super Shift D, and then you know everything you need to know in key bindings. Then the rest you go read. What do you need to read? You need to open up Sublime Text. Make sure you drop the folder from Hyper in the .config folder. You find a folder Hyper, drop it in and start reading all. Right? That is what I've done in the last video, previous video. So I'm numbering previous number. Thing is, this is a video about the Waybar. Waybar. Styles. JetBrains Mono. Noto Sans Roboto. So it starts already in font sizes. What will we use as font family? What shall we use as coloring? Now, I do see that this probably doesn't... Uh, well, you don't have no clue what this color is, right? Probably. So let's see if we can add some projects that I don't know anymore. But install package control is one step of it. Uh, successfully installed. Okay. Then the next step was going to find those guys here browse packages customize been a while package control browse packages maybe browse packages I don't know nope I'm gonna go somewhere else package control that's it install package right all right there we are and now it's the thing right remember the name you need to install if, if there's something working <laughs> remember the name because it's always hours and hours until you find something that you say this is it this is what I want now it has to do with color lightweight color highlight colorizer for sublime text color sublime color pick color picker if I would be smart let's see if I was I'm gonna go to my other computer system did I record somewhere what I need to install in sublime text that is a big thing so you know do know that I have Arclix nemesis that's the ideal way to keep track of things aha I did color hints right that's the one I like so I install it and wait for it how long should we wait ah there it is so this is kind of blackish purple and now we know what we're looking at because we need to find out the colors and the modules so let's drag these guys, that one here. Okay, I'd like you to open them all up. <laughs> no, no, okay. Then it's one by one. So this one has also coloring or not. Well, no and yes, we, we need to figure out what all that is up there. And that's inside the modules at the top. We have all the modules, yep. And in the config, we have the workspaces. So that's one and two. We have CPU. I don't like the blue CPU. Okay, then you go for style, control find CPU. There it is. And then it has a color, this color, but that's not what we're looking at we go on and that's the background color that's the blue right that's the one i don't want now 
a different color on hyperlinks how do we pick a color in hyperlinks that's a good question right normally i would rely on something called gpic but gpic let's see is not installed probably we can let's see first well control c let's do yay color pick world wayland right what do we have there is the hyper picker gits that does not suck okay and there's wl color picker okay and so on right you keep on testing all these things that i've never heard about and never will hear about let's do this one let's see if this is what i need because i just want a wheel of colors that's all i want and i don't think i'll get this with this one so hyper picker is actually going to go for a loop i'm gonna say to me what kind of yellow is that and it's gonna say that's the color right beautiful tool great tool that's why it's on the iso but no no not what i want now if if you want to make this a short video then you go here right and you say you go to google and you type in this sorry some numbers hopefully realistic numbers so one four one or something like that and you get a color and here you can pick your color right you don't need to have an application on wayland i can say that i like this color and i copy paste this color and i go back here and i say to the system take that color right and then it's that color save again and later on the cpu so this guy up here uh, needs to be killed yes the bay bar is killed <laughs> now to launch it again somehow now i need to go to where the way bar is launched so cd.config in hyper ls cd waybar ls and we have these things here right but this this is not where it get launched so cd ls go to the scripts ls and in here is buh, buh, buh. not waybar but i think status bar that it's called status bar let's see Oh, look at that color. I don't like that. <laughs> right? But that's the point, right? That's the point of the video. There are 16 million colors. 16 million colors to choose from. Who am I to say that uh, this color green is, is bad, right? Just go ahead. Grab this thing like this as well. So you don't have to delete the hashtag. And go back in here. And say i'm gonna go for the soft green which could be a good idea so pastel coloring thing hey where's my pickle way bar it's not there oh it is it's gone okay that's cool because i need to launch it again ah not bad i like this this little green thing but then again it's very much the same as this little green thing so it is really entirely up to you to decide what you like to look at now people might say all these rainbow colors makes me sick right just change it all to a color and i'm thinking i have an idea right what if we made it all grayish like this kind of grayish okay all of them but not all of them right all of them but not all of them these guys save the memory it's gonna be black on gray so we need to have the font to be white eh? so monochrome 
That's the idea. Monochrome. Okay. Let's do these already. Custom cycle wall, we have that one as well. And all the rest we don't. Voila. Let's do this already. Now we get this. All right, cool. <laughs> we can hardly read it. So where is the font? That's up here. Here's the font. If I can say to the font that its color should be general everywhere. White is all Fs and C, 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 or the short version, this one, right, is good. And let's see. Then we got these guys in white, but all the rest we don't have as white, and nor do we have these guys as white. So we have some things white. Let's go for all the Cs. So this one, C, 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 save. Why is this indented? C, 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 save. Control C, up, arrow up. Ooh, we're getting everything white here. Awesome. These backgrounds are not okay. The clock is there. Now we have to copy paste a little bit more, it seems. Although this might be white and I should just get rid of my background. So background color, the CPU was this color, control C. What's this? That's updates or something. Let's go all the way down and start from the bottom back up. This one, that one, that one, background. Everywhere I see background color, I'm gonna change it. Safe. And this is a special background, workspaces button active. We'll see. I got this. Oh, we forgot one. What's this? I think that's the clock or something. Yep, the clock. Safe. Sure. Voila. All right. Okay. Why is this thing colored? Because of background color button active. Right. It's not a bad idea to have background active like this. That's our sirens in Belgium but a bit brighter or something like that right and this guys is up to you you decide how to rise your system it's not up to developers distributors to do this it's up to you to make it nice and unrecognizable that i say wow is this Atlex? right this is a monochrome idea, no colors. I do like the fact, don't like the fact, font size. What I'm thinking now, but I'll leave it for another test later on, if ever I can make this bold, but that's my eyesight again, right? It's just uh, looking awesome, right? This is our next wallpaper alt n and depending of course of the wallpaper this is just awesome or not no this thing is transparent i wonder if we can make these buttons transparent because we saw a color let's just see if it can understand 
let's see if it can understand where the workspace is or the clock the clock is good as well if it can uh, get this CPU is up here that's that guy what if we say zero zero behind it is he crashing then yep junk at the end of the value for color thank you very much right so that's one thing control find RGB still got one so that one control C what if I want it where is the CPU oh is that the color control ah oh, yeah yeah it's a background color control V save I wonder <laughs> why is this this color shouldn't this be CC C save of that let's see okay I thought did not notice this was another color but voila but this is transparent yes it seems to be transparent for half of it so that means of course I can do some more like I don't know let's see what 50 50 50 is like Mm -hmm. hardly I can see it hardly 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 let's do some wallpapers alt n I need a bright one aha uh -huh. so it is transparent and you hate it or you like it simple as that and then it's up to you to go and change this control C to the background and of course you keep track of this code you put this safely away to somewhere else because you worked I don't know 50 minutes on it <laughs> you can do it easily again I didn't have fun to do the work again so put it safe online or somewhere or you can put it back copy paste so maybe this could be a nice holiday challenge holiday weekend challenge and that is well change it show us your screenshots safe and there we go uh-huh forgot just the clock there Good job, Eric. The clock. Where's the clock? Control find. There's the clock. And later on, if you've done all that, you just do Control H, and you do. Oh, look at that! It's kind of putting. It's putting slashes in there, and you say, "I'd rather have 60 because 60 looks awesome." And then you say, "Replace all." Save. Control C, done, right? Now it's 60 everywhere. So there you go, a mono looking thing. And if it's not white enough, what I was just thinking, the CCC here, FFF, save, a bit wider, then it's gonna look like this, which is also not so not bad, right? And keep changing, keep changing, keep changing. All right, have fun.